special shout out to executive producer Silver and 7552 for sponsoring this reaction. We appreciate the sponsorship and hope you enjoy the reaction. Thanks again. Welcome back to another EP sponsor reaction for Mythic Quest, season one, episode number four. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know what to do. Hit the notification bell after that. Tell a friend to tell a friend on your cell phone or your rotary, whichever one you got. <laughs> it helps the algorithm, people. Come on. Shout out to uh, executive producer Silver for sponsoring this reaction. We really appreciate it. And just one comment from the last episode from executive producer Faye who says, Great reaction. I love how blatantly or blatant they are of needing a diversity team for optics because of how it might come across. I really love this show. This is so interesting to me despite my own education being in the legal system, court reporting those people with the weird keyboard taking notes and trials and depositions. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that they trapped all of the troublemakers together. Thanks for sponsoring this Silver. I really hope to see more reactions to this. Now, as yeah. I said before, my sister is a lead UI artist at our company. Uh, it means she creates some user interface art like coins or buttons or things like that. Yeah. I'm not completely sh sure what she does. <laughs> but I suggested this TV show to her and she says that people in her industry, game engineers and developers, have suggested this show to her because they were able to relate to it and get the inside humor. Mm. Although they said that it could be improved by adding this from the industry, they said it was the most relatable to their work. I'm not my sister and I didn't hear this firsthand, but she's been in the industry for over 10 years so I trust their opinion that's great because yeah, I feel good. like that's what we're essentially getting but that's true you we're not in the industry yeah. so we have no idea of whether no, it's accurate no. at all we're just going with the comedy we're just like this is fun um, and this is a perspective we haven't seen before mm -hmm. so uh, great insight great comment Faye let's jump into episode four right now <laughs> cuties duties this is pooty I know you're wondering why I have not been streaming Mythic Quest today. Before we get into it, I just want to say that, you know, I've been playing this game since I was a kid and you it's really kid's always still. going to occupy a very special place inside my heart. <laughs> so so well, that's said, gonna freak out. Mythic Quest just isn't showing me the love anymore. So I think it's time for a change. Oh jeez. As sad as it is oh, for crackers. Service, I will no longer be streaming Mythic Quest. Ooh. Ever. Again. Now fear not, Pootie Nation. I do have something new in the works, something new and fresh, and I hope you guys are gonna take that journey with me. Pootie out! Oh shit, babe. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> she know ain't good. Uh, wow. Man, it just shows the power though of like these influencers, uh -huh. right, babe? How the world has changed. Out, everybody out. I cannot believe I'm doing this. You're looking at this wrong. Pretty drove a ton of traffic, but we had no control over him. If we get the right streamer to play MQ, then we're in charge of the messenger and the message. All we have to do is debase ourselves to children. It's a brand new world, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, now they gotta go find so. a new person, uh, babe. There are still some diehards out there who play for the right reasons. Look at this, the masked man. Hello, little boy. I love your costume. Hi. So I'm not a little boy. I'm. I'm. Hold on. Poppy. Yeah. yeah hold on. I'm yeah. doing a, a big reveal. Okay, can someone else? Um, there's like a there's like a little like a creepy yeah. thing. Can you just? Oh my gosh. Okay, get it off. Get it off. Can you get it off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really close. Right. Is it on the right hot, side? Hot, which hot, side? Hot, relax. Which just side? relax. Get the glove. Get the glove. Ha ha. Hey, oh, all that. Was we fun. knew it was you. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry to crunch your little boys club, but um, I'm I'm a department head and I should be included in big decisions like this. Ah, come on, navigating different personalities, making gut check calls about people. I don't know if those instincts are part of your skill set, Pop. I have great instincts. Right, like wearing full cosplay to a not cosplay event. And what's with the tester? You're bringing the whole company, guys. We look desperate. I brought Dana because she gets it. She's young. She's a woman in gaming, and unlike you, I actually value the voices. Pop, you need a ride, right? Yeah. I tried Probably to needed a right. thing, but then she yelled at me. Okay, that is enough of your voice, Dana. Go explore. Bye. Bye, Dana. Dana. Have fun. Mmm. I'm gone. So it is officially D Day. Day to day. Today we can do whatever we want, Joe. <laughs> Don't and tell that to Joe. Bosses are where the little mouse will play. Aren't you the boss? 
Well, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Do you call yourself a little mouse? Sometimes. You know, I, someone has to be the mouse, otherwise the expression doesn't work. You know what, Joe? One of the things I don't want to have to do today is explain myself to you. Okay? David, do you think maybe I'd be more useful assisting Ian at the streamer con? If I leave now, I could probably beat traffic. Joe, Joe, Joe! Okay. Let's just clear this up once and for all. You're my assistant. You live to serve only me. And my every whim, you will speak when spoken to. And... Yeah. Hey, David, man, there's a bunch of girls out front here from Girls Can Code. They say they're scheduled for a tour. Oh, shit. Is that today? Not just your appetite. Where are my ladies at? Oh, hi. Hello. Come on over. My name is uh, David. Girls Can Code. I love it. That's real, too. I'm so excited that, that you girls are all oh, here. Yeah, you know, and you, you picked the right gaming company because, let me tell you something, we value women here at Mythic Quest. Uh, in fact, our head programmer is a woman, Poppy Lee, and she's in charge of programming the entire game. Yeah, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You're going to have to work pretty hard to get where she's at if you want to be where she's at. Um, but uh, I'll let her tell you all about that. Who wants to see a woman who can code? Who she's wants to here. see the best engineer you could ever find? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, no, she's okay, let's go meet Poppy. She's not she here. wasn't supposed to be there. What? She's not here. She went to StreamerCon. Oh. Why do you tell me? Because I only speak when spoken to, sir. Are there any other female coders we can meet? <laughs> yes. Obviously. Yes, uh, we have plenty of women who work here uh, in various positions. Um, do, 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 No, not in this room, uh, but in other rooms, uh, because we are filled with women. Joe, Joe's a woman, right? Joe, so yeah. why, why don't you yeah. tell the girls what you do? Sure, um, I live only to serve a man, and that man is David. Okay, oh, she's not, really not like this, okay? Yeah, she usually will listen to what I say, but uh, she's only acting like that due to disciplinary action resulting from weeks of insubordination, so. Huh? You know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, Poppy will return. In the meantime, let's go meet some ladies! Come on. Again, not in this room, we're gonna skip on past this one. It's really unfortunate that Poppy's not there. Because she would kill that whole crowd. Like, yeah. her enthusiasm. What's up, CW? Apologies. I was lost in my own week. Ian's absence leaves me wandering the halls, feeling a bit unmoored. Yeah, I know what you mean. I've never been in here. We work at the same place, yet we exist in two completely different worlds. Not surprising, I suppose. I'm old, you're young. I'm a man, you're a boy. What? I'm a woman. Are you? Are you then? Oh. I'll take your word for it. Thanks. So, um, <laughs> what do you do exactly? For real, dude? Mm-hmm. I test the game for bugs and shit so that when people like you play, it actually works. Oh, I've never played it. Wait, you've never played the game? I deal in story and emotion, not games. Dude, when a game is as good as this one, playing it is just as emotional experience as some story. <laughs> You can't tell me that gameplay. Oh my god, she's gonna get into play. Maybe we got it. Because I'm okay. Cutscenes are gonna have more. Yeah, like, I skip them. Oh no. No more. That's his Let me show you the power of a story, my dear boy. Uh, girl. Girl. Okay, yeah, fine. Boy. But first, I'm gonna show you the power of the game, old man. Grab control. I like it. I like it. I'm okay with this. Wow, okay, Wait, that's grabbing the mouse. mouse. <laughs> so we're just gonna start from the beginning. Now I just fried the battle cruiser. Yeah, mission clear. That's so sick. You know, this campaign has everything that I love about the Cold Alliance 2. It's got killer missions, snap tight controls, and the sickest graphics of any MMORPG out He's there. He's already playing our rival game? I guess the piece of shit floated downstream. And I know I just started playing, but so far I'm inclined to give this game four and a half beetles. What? He shot them straight up to four and a half? And a half? That doesn't make any sense. Like, what's a half a bottle? And, and, and then why not just give ten, right? Why not give twenty? What? A million buttholes! A million buttholes for all! No, it's just business. They clearly made him a great offer. I can't believe that companies are straight up paying kids these days. Like, why are gamers losing their shit? Okay, come on, don't be naive, all right? Even fans know streamers make these arrangements. Make no mistake about it. We're gonna have to pony up two if we want quality. What exactly passes for quality here? 
Exactly why we're here. We were hoping to come to some kind of arrangement with you to uh, help bridge the gap left by our pal Pootie. I'm sorry. Are we not going to address the large menacing presence to our right? Uh, it's just my bodyguard. He won't say shit. Great. I feel safer. I got it. I don't either. Sit down. He won't say shit. <laughs> you know what I'm just saying? So, LOL. How'd you feel about so playing a new way. weapons update that we're releasing next month? I'm thinking, I don't know. $5,000? Yeah, I think I'm done dealing in dollars. I deal in percentages now. Excuse me? He said he's done dealing in dollars. He deals in percentages. No, I heard what he said. I'm selling your weapons. I want gross points. 10%. Mm. If he's selling your weapons, he wants No, I heard what he said again. Mm. <laughs> okay. We're just processing. processing this right now? Yeah. Gross points. Are no, I understand points what gross points are. Gross I points. understand what they are. And this is between me and Trevor, right? We got this, man. I'm just not Seems familiar with this. Easy. I'm not losing them, man. I'm just not familiar with this. Okay, I'm off my game. Is this part of the negotiation tactic? The freak is this out. part of the negotiation? 10%? We're no deal. All you guys think about This is right. Yes, but it's still missing something, isn't it? Sit back, my lady. My lady. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you something wonderful. Poppy? You're Poppy Lee, right? Yeah. And Dan Williams, producer of Cold Alliance Studios. Oh, Cold Alliance? Fuck you. Well, uh, we're big fans of your work. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm a huge fan of yours, too. <laughs> well, you just told me to fuck off. Well, but that was before I knew that you liked me. Well, <laughs> that was before I knew that you liked me. That shovel update, that was brilliant. Thank you. That was, you know, that was actually Ian's idea to turn it into a weapon. Well, I was actually talking about the digging feature. It was such a novel way of integrating uh, persistent environmental changes. How did you know that would be so cool? Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just kind of... Yeah, she didn't even want the shovel though. Yeah, Girl, she no, she did. Oh, she wanted, she wanted it just to dig. She didn't yeah, yeah. want it for the weapon. It was a weapon. Yeah, Dan Williams. Yeah, yeah. Cool. L listen, um, I don't want to take up much more of your time, but uh, we're looking for a new creative director, and uh, I think you'd be a perfect. Not a project manager, director. but a creative director. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm not looking for a new job, and you guys already pushed Poopy, so. Well, what can I say? I mean, when we find talent, we go after it. You're welcome. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. All right? Take care. Ooh, they coming after Mythic Quest. Yeah, them boys are going hard. I've done it. I have found our streamer. Who's Introducing Byron. Byron has been playing MMO RPGs for 20 years. And best of all, he's never been paid for it. Also, he's a big fan of mine. He's a genius. This guy's like a thousand in streaming years. Guys. Oh, hey, guys. Our streaming problems are over. Oh, great. Another dude in his 40s. God forbid you pick a woman. There's no such thing as a 40-year-old woman in gaming. That's a fact. That's and secondly, a fact. Stephen here isn't the streamer. Stephen. Excuse me. Right. Excuse me. He's an analyst. Meet Aiko. Aiko here is the future of the streamer hustle. A 3D model that I can completely control in a mocap suit. It's a one-time cost. She never ages or gets a better offer. And we can make her do whatever we want. So you want to build a woman? Mm -hmm. Sort of like a weird science situation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What's weird science? Oh, oh God. God. That's weird Damn science. 
Yeah. Small yeah. wonder? Damn it. Small wonder, maybe. I don't know what that is. What? what? God. All right, just Jeez. because something is old doesn't make it cool. Why? What do, you, do you even understand our culture? You right. Know, it doesn't what matter. culture? Awful. So, oh, it oh. is kind of creepy if I have to admit it. My guy, I think, is a little bit better. Your guy? Your guy's got an ankle oh, on him. Small wonder? Shit. Bye, Ren. What's that for? <laughs> So, you know what? I don't want to know. So, I don't want to know. You guys do whatever you want. Bye, I'm gonna go on. Where's my ride? Okay, so we're going to go with Aiko? No, let's eat. So, go I. I was thinking. She could be a good one. Come on, let's go. Hang on, I just got to finish this. Are you playing Mythic Quest? You know you can do that back at the office. I just got to the best part. I'm so close to leveling up, and when I do, I get to finally cook the great trident of Tethys, which has an insane. Make her at the streamer. Alright, y'all. Invest in her as a streamer. I already work for you. There you go. That's exciting. What if I told you I found our new streamer? She's perfect. She knows the game inside out. She appeals to a young, diverse crowd. She is so cool. She's. Oh my God! She's talking about herself. That is so sad. Oh, see, I told you she would do this. First of all, you're like 15 years too old. Dana! Dana is the new streamer. No, she's too good looking. No one's gonna believe that she's a real gamer. Okay, but the thing is, she is a real gamer. Yours isn't even a real person. Okay, Pop, you're great. Yes. At something very specific. Right. It's sort of like, right. well, I'm this painter, and you're my favorite. Okay, hold on. Are you just about to recycle my whole thing about the brush of it? I'm not gonna just... Look, we're not going to use that same thing here. every single time. Watch we keep using Dana it. Play. She's got this whole crowd of people around. Good work, Pop. No, we're going to go over here and make a decision, but yeah. No, you guys come with me. Okay, we'll so over time. there. Guys, so I really time. think I'm right about this. That red there, Redemption? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Do you want uh, that? You're damn right. You're damn right. It's touching. <laughs> Sweet combination of the story. Oh, see, Abby, you're, you're a really good writer. You're really good. I didn't good. know this was our game. I didn't even know this was our game. That's from Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, That's you called it. Red you called it. Wait, you didn't write that? What about the other ones? It was Assassin's Creed. That's, that's all your games. <laughs> None of these are yours? <laughs> I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. Why did we watch that then? To show you the power of story. <laughs> Which ones have you done there? <laughs> Alas, I... I'm a stranger in a strange land, and have I've yet to achieve that level of emotional resonance. Outside of my novels, of course. For which I, I, I did win a Nebula Award. Where did this one that come from? Oh, it's always with that. me. I just never mind. Never mind. Keep it up. Guys, I now know well, that I must engage with the game on its most fundamental level by playing it, and that will unlock rich new stories for years to come. Thank you, young just, man. Just uh, come in here. You know, we'll try this place again. See if any ladies have uh, emerged. How do we have so many dudes that work here? How? Wait a second. The testers. The testers, yes, yes, come, come. Okay, uh, our testers now are he actually they just wait not so many just guys. one, but two ladies. Uh, no. Two ladies. Hmm? We had a wonderful time. I just showed her mine, and she showed me hers. Yeah, and first it was kind of weird because he's old, you know, but boy, does he know what he's doing. <laughs> she cried. I did cry. Well, he cried, too. I did. Come in, girl. Don't go in there. Okay, I think that's enough. I think yeah, I think too. we should go ahead, yeah. Roe. Puppy! Didn't you get my text? We have a tour today. Oh, that was today? Nice, I guess your good instincts don't include checking a calendar. Crap, I can't Calendar! I don't want your excuses, okay? These girls need to be inspired. Well, it's inspiration. Not yeah. you. Well, you have if it's need to hear from. These girls need to talk to someone who understands what it's like to be a girl who loves games. 
Someone who can speak to them on their level and get them excited. Oh, God, this is so sad. Here she goes. Here she goes. Here she goes. She's I'm introduced. So embarrassed. I'm actually in a couple of I'm She's not the girl. talking about me. I'm talking about Dana. Yeah. Hmm? Say what? Hmm? Come on. Get to Hi. Hey, girls. This is Dana. Just as small she as works here. What do you do? Uh, I play video games. That's your job? That's so cool! Yeah, it is cool. But it's also hard work sometimes. I mean, it's crazy that this is a real job. But I play to make the game better for our fans, and they pay me for it. And yeah, there aren't a lot of women here, but they hired me and my friend Rachel, so they're trying. Uh, <laughs> so to be cute. totally honest, it's still sometimes a hard place to be a girl. But I'm not going to give up, because I love my job, and I'm good at it. You feel me? You feel me? I'm good at it. You know what else? Lena. I'm so good at it that when I play against boys, I kick their butts. <laughs> so cute. Girls like kicking butts, right? Yeah. And come work here. Thank you, Dana. That was so inspiring. That was the only good thing we've heard all day. Uh, yeah. You are so welcome. Come on, girls. Bye, Bye girls. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Damn, I be Dana's the new streamer. Yeah. She and it's their idea, but Ian is a genius. She didn't say that. I think she did. No, I think she didn't. Also, I told you guys that she's who we should go with back at the convention. You did? You did? That would drive me crazy. That would drive me literally yeah, crazy. Yeah, well, one of the best things about being a boss is giving good news. <laughs> giving good news. I have this card in my pocket that I should probably consider. Yep. So they always throw it out to the side. Yeah, they always throw it out to the side. Hello, Dan Williams. Let's talk. It's Poppy. Poppy Lee. Oh, I'm sorry, but when will he be back? <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, I can leave my number. Hey, stranger. Hey, that was my hey. Just like that. Dude, I had the weirdest day, but it's also kind of awesome. Me too. Ian and Brad just asked me to be the new streamer. Wait, what? Yeah, just now. I mean, I guess it's kind of shady to have an in-house streamer, right? But if this was best for the game. Yeah, it's yeah. Kind of shady. I know that means we won't be testing together anymore, but it's kind of my dream job, so... Do you think I should do it? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. You, yeah. Sh you should totally do it. I should do it, right? Yeah. Oh my god! This is crazy! I gotta call my mom! Crazy. Okay, um. See ya. Ma! Hey! You would never guess what happened at work today. Okay, so I went to the convention with I and Brad and Poppy, right? Alright, that was episode two of Mythic Quest, and I love Four. this episode. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, episode four. Uh, let me just start over. Okay. Let's cut that out. <laughs> okay. So we don't even do it. You ready? Yeah. All right, that was episode four of Mythic Quest. And I love this episode, man. I mean, it 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 hit on all levels on there. And again, I like the the conflict that we just, we just um, added on here with Poppy, right? So... Ever since episode one, they've been giving her the cold shoulder, um, the the boss, and um, the the other the finance department, right? They've been giving her the cold shoulder, not taking into account any of her ideas or tossing them to the side or claiming them as their own, as they did in this episode. But we had a different thing that happened this time. We had another company that gave her the car and said, "Look, we're looking for somebody as smart as you who respect what she does and." I like how they ended it like, mm, she is really thinking about it. Obviously, she ain't going to go over there. But she's, she is thinking about it because she is, uh, you know, getting disrespected at the job that she is at right now. And so, and this episode was very women-centric, too. Mm -hmm. had the girls come through. It was like, in this industry, which is true. I mean, it is more guy-dominated 
than it is women. So that was another highlight they tried to show on there. And then the thing about companies, these game companies, needing streamers to make sure they promote the game too. So all of this is just within the realm of reality. And I mean, I'm, I dare to say it's 100% accurate on exactly how these companies do it. Because without the streamers or the YouTubers or whatever that, that they need, they, how else would you get the damn publicity, the damn recognition of your game, whatever, right? How would you do it without these people over here playing it all day? So I thought that was just a good light that they shared on all of it. And at the same time, it was still um, humorous. It was funny. So I'm very interested to see where we're going from here. But this was another good episode. Cannot wait to see another one. Yeah, I totally agree. I love this show. I love like seeing it from this perspective. Um, the whole uh, uh, influencer aspect of it, I feel like is so spot on. And this is why we have 12 and 13 year old kids walking out of meetings, yeah. laying their terms and being like, what? You yeah, need what me. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. It's so real and so like uh, has a pulse on where things are today, which I think is fascinating. I do like having a woman centric episode because I think it is something that is definitely uh, very prevalent as far as uh, that it's few and far be between. Obviously, it's growing in that space, but that's because we keep putting eyes on it too but I like the fact that uh they try to navigate it with the the tour I mean like this is uncomfortable <laughs> there's no women um so I like and appreciate that they did that I think to Poppy's point I think it makes sense that they were trying to uh come for her they're essentially coming for everything that Mythic Quest has that's their biggest competition yeah I don't know if it's necessarily genuine that they're uh coming for Poppy but she's one of the strongest assets they have on the squad. If they're not going to recognize it, it makes sense why she would possibly look elsewhere. Yeah. But I think the way the storyline is going to go, because uh, it was her idea about Dana and having a streamer that's a woman be the brand message and be the influencer behind a game isn't as popular and not a way that it's gone typically. And I don't see Poppy seeing the opportunity here to be like, look, look at the woman-centric uh, focus that we put on yeah. this brand on my yeah. baby. And to see how that rolls out, I think that's probably going to force her to stay. Um, but we'll have to see how it plays out because obviously she wants to be respected for the choices that she makes, the decisions she makes, and what she brings to the table. Um, and hopefully that plays out. But it was very obviously obvious where that was going to turn to uh -huh. just based on their reaction once they, that would piss me off like that would be the most don't take credit for shit i did that would yeah. piss me off yeah. like to the fullest extent yeah. so i felt her 100 percent in that but i think her idea did uh she presented in a way that made sense and if it starts uh profiting for the company too she's gonna she's gonna stand behind it i think so we'll have to see yeah. but it was a great episode Still funny, but just really smart and inch honestly, it's just interesting. I'm intrigued. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, really I like is. seeing all the elements that I I don't think about or haven't thought about and haven't seen. So it's a great show, and I appreciate it. Thanks again to executive producer Silverns for sponsoring this reaction, yep. and hope to see you next episode soon. Yep. All right. Well, look. Thank you guys again for watching another EP sponsor reaction for um, Mythic Quest season one episode number four. And until next time, people. Peace.